Hello and a warm welcome to St Stephen Warbrook and to this week's Choral Classics with the Choral Scholars directed by Olivia. Today we start to look towards Good Friday which uh, is next week and the crucifixion with uh, a wonderful array of powerful contemplative music including a version of The Reproachers, a series of sayings and responses set to music that express imagined anguished cries of protest by Jesus to his people. Our programme opened with a setting of verses from the first chapter of Lamentations, O Vos Omnes, part of the service of uh, Tenebrae in the dark on Holy Saturday. O all you who walk by on the road, pay attention and see if there be any sorrow like my sorrow. The music is by one of the greatest cellists of all time, Pablo Casals. Uh, we now hear William Byrd's setting of the first verse of Psalm 51, David's gushing plea for mercy after he realises that Nathan the prophet knows all about David's adultery with Bathsheba. Miserere mei Deus, have mercy upon me, O God, after thy great goodness. According to the multitude of thy mercies, do away mine offences.
in his uh, poem at a Calvary near the Ancre for Good Friday. Wilfred Owen combines images of the crucifixion with images from the First World War, inspired by a damaged Calvary, a wayside uh, crucifixion scene at uh, a crossroads in northern France. The reference in the poem to flesh marked by the beast has the double meaning of priests wounded in the fight against Germany, but also symbolically marked as one of Satan's followers, a strident criticism against priests who hide apart from the soldiers as the disciples did from Jesus after his arrest. No one has greater love than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. At the end of the poem is a quotation from the 15th chapter of John's Gospel. One ever hangs where shelled roads part. In this war, he too lost a limb, but his disciples hide apart. And now the soldiers bear with him. Near Golgotha strolls many a priest, and in their faces there is pride that they were flesh marked by the beast by whom the gentle Christs denied. The scribes on all the people shove and bawl allegiance to the state. But they who love, the greater love, lay down their life. They do not hate. Well, we now hear parts of uh, John Sanders' arrangement of the reproaches which first appeared uh, as a text in the ninth century. My people, what have I done to you? How have I offended you? Answer me. I led you out of Egypt from slavery to freedom, but you led your saviour to the cross. Holy is God, holy and strong. <coughs> holy immortal one, have mercy on us. The music is uh, partly inspired by Allegri's uh, famous Miserere with its use of plain song contrasted with harmony in the verses. The harmonies in the words of the composer give the music a sense of timelessness, the reproaches.
the poet Edith Sitwell also makes comparison between the crucifixion and elements of uh, warfare. In her poem, Still Falls the Rain, it is the Nazi bombing of London which is compared to the crucifixion. In the very final verse, hope is referenced through Jesus' continuing to shed his blood willingly for sinful humanity. Still falls the rain, the raids, 1940, night and dawn by Edith Sitwell. Still falls the rain, dark as the world of man, black as our loss, blind as the 1940 nails upon the cross. Still falls the rain, with a sound like the pulse of the heart that is changed to the hammer beat in the potter's field and the sound of the impious feet on the tomb. Still falls the rain in the field of blood where the small hopes breed and the human brain nurtures its greed that worm with the brow of Cain. Still falls the rain at the feet of the starved man hung upon the cross. Christ, that each day, each night, nails there, have mercy on us, on Dives and on Lazarus. On the rain and the saw and the gold are as one. Still falls the rain, still falls the blood from the starved man's wounded side. He bears in his heart all wounds, those of the light that died, the last faint spark in the self-murdered heart, the wounds of the sad, uncomprehending dark, the wounds of the baited bear, the blind and weeping bear whom the keepers beat on his helper's flesh, the tears of the hunted hare, still falls the rain, then Oh, I leap up to my God, who pulls me down. See, see where Christ's blood streams in the firmament, flows from the brow. We nailed upon the tree, deep to the dying, to the thirsting heart that holds the fires of the world, dark smirched with pain as Caesar's laurel crown. Then sounds the voice of one who, like the heart of man, was once a child who among beasts has lain. Still do I love, still shed my innocent light, my blood for thee. Well, this hope through love is set out in God so loved the world, drawing on words which form a summary of the gospel within a gospel from chapter three of John composed by Stainer for his oratorio, The Crucifixion. God so loved the world.
many thanks uh, for being with us uh, for this week's Coral Classics. Do join us at uh, the same time next week if you're able for Coral Classics for Holy Week. And uh, by all means join us uh, for our Coral Eucharist for more Coral Gems tomorrow at 12.45 and then next week, uh, Monday, Thursday. Any contributions to the work of the church on the way out are always much appreciated. Antonio Lotti, born in Venice in 1667, is most famous for his Crucifixus in eight parts, which is uh, part of his setting of the creed, the credo in F for choir and orchestra. We hear Crucifixus now. He was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried. Have a blessed week ahead. <laughs>